What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest tablet to grace AT&T's airwaves. This is the HTC built Jetstream. Let's go ahead, unbox it and see if it can take off. No? All right, so here is the HTC Jetstream, one of the first devices in AT&T's lineup to sport not only that 4G logo, which we've seen with the HSPA+, but those LTE uh, right below it. Those three letters, so very, very, very important. Unfortunately, we don't have LTE in many markets, but if you're looking to pick up the Jetstream, hopefully you will have LTE in your market uh, at some point in the near future. AT&T said they've got a pretty aggressive rollout plan. So here's the tablet. We'll run through all the specs in a few minutes. HTC Jetstream. There's a picture of the Jetstream on the back. 4G broadband, Android 3.1 Honeycomb, of course. 10.1 inch HD widescreen, HTC Friend Stream, and a full HTML browser. This is running a skinned version of Honeycomb uh, with HTC Sense sitting on top of it. All right, so let's go ahead and dig in. We'll go through the rest of the specs as we go. This was sent right from HTC. It looks like this guy's been unboxed before. It's the second unboxing, I suppose. All right, so here is the tablet. And I have not seen one of these guys yet in person, so I'm kind of uh, curious. All right, it doesn't want to come out. We shall shake it out. I'm shaking right now, but you guys can't see it. Okay, so here is the jet stream. Push it off to the side for just a minute. Let's see what we're gonna get in the box. Got a power cord, and it looks to be proprietary power, as is the case with most of uh, the Honeycomb tablets out there. Most tablets in general, they require more power than micro USB can give. But for syncing, you do have a micro USB cable. Quick start guide, HTC Jetstream, all that kind of business and some other warranty information in there. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the Jetstream itself. Let's power it on. Hopefully there's enough juice and I will run through the specs. Power on. Boom. HTC. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're looking at Android 3.1. This is being powered by an incredibly capable uh, 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. For those of you uh, keeping track at home, it's the APQ8060 processor. I read that from notes I got next to me. Uh, Android 3.1 Honeycomb, 32 gigs of internal storage, one gig of RAM, uh, this guy has a 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 1280 by 800. LTE support, a huge beefy battery, uh, 7,330 milliamp hours. Of course, HTC Sense. Let's go ahead and take a look at the butt of this guy. Boom. Uh, what we're looking at right there, uh, next to an LED flash, is an 8 megapixel 1080p camera. Uh, which can shoot video at 30 frames per second. It's actually dual LEDs. And on the front, none of that VGA business, we have a 1.3 megapixel shooter. Uh, it's capable of being used with HTC's Scribe Pen, uh, so you can draw right on it with a sort of capacitive magnet, uh, magnet, 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 magnetic. That's the word, magnetic stylus uh, that you can use to write notes or draw pictures or all kinds of business. Uh, this is the HTC Scribe Pen. We'll take a look at this guy uh, in the review. We did cover it a bit in the HTC Flyer overview. All right, so all this sounds pretty awesome, right? You ready for the kicker? Let's talk about the price. This guy, and this is not a exaggeration, uh, is going to cost $699 with contract. If you wanna buy it without a contract, it's gonna cost you $849. $699 with a contract, $849 without a contract. Yoinks! Uh, this guy also has support though for HSPA Plus, so that's a plus. All right, so let's walk around the tablet here. On the top, got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. There's your power and lock button living right there. Hello. Nothing on that side. It's hard to say what's the top or the bottom of these tablets and see, all orient. Uh, on the bottom here, <laughs> There's that proprietary charging port. Got a microphone down there. Volume rocker up and down. Uh, interesting thing about this proprietary charging port, you can plug in both uh, the power or a micro USB cord into that same port. Uh, battery is sealed in here. It is a brushed aluminum look. Pretty substantial speaker. 
Uh, this is not Beats Audio, despite uh, HTC having it on some devices, but this is a very capable tablet. Uh, if you're not going to be scared from the price, you are going to get a uh, pretty capable tablet here. So let's take a quick look at HTC Sense, which I have not seen yet uh, on a tablet. Wow. Doing its all kind of uh, weather thing. It looks like I do have service. It says 4G. Uh, but we don't have LTE in Southern California, so that is HSP plus variety. Let's go ahead, dig in, and let's go to technobuffalo.com and see what things look like. So being an Android device, you'll have full support for Flash. Uh, so to be able to get some websites and apps as they were meant to be done. And with a gig of RAM and a 1.5 gigahertz processor, uh, you're not going to have any sort of slowdown. Uh, this guy should be an absolute screamer. It's one of the best uh, spec tablets, actually, on the market. So we'll bring this down just a little bit. Uh, and with the high resolution screen, uh, 1280 by 800, uh, things should be pretty crisp and clear. So there's this test I always run. Page is still loading. But on HSPA Plus, it is loading pretty fast. Uh, some interesting tweaks here to the web browser uh, the HTC added. So you got everything right across here, uh, tab, search, bookmarks, and menu. You can see all that kind of business. Let's go ahead and jump back home, see what other kind of honeycomb tweaks we're going to have here. Multitasking, still the same that we've seen. I really like how Android handles multitasking, uh, especially on uh, the honeycomb operating system. Uh, I like the way it looks, it's visually appealing, and it's really handy to use. So let's see what some of the widgets we got here. So we've got a bookmarks widget, all the stuff we've seen on other HTC Sense devices. So you can find a blank home screen and check out some of the other widgets. Hey, look at that. As you scroll around, you get sort of that carousel. You can pick one, you can see all your home screens. So we can pinch out. There's a blank home screen. And let's go ahead and look at our widgets. So we'll jump on over to all widgets. Well, a lot of calendar options here too. Uh, calculator, really handy to have a calculator. So you have a ton of different choices. Calendar. Uh, this is one of my favorite HTC widgets, the calendar options. It looks like they translated over pretty nicely um, to the tablet operating system. Analog clock. And your switch from widgets, apps, and shortcuts is now down here. A lot of clocks. A lot of clocks. That is a ridiculous amount of clocks. Here's some featured apps. Footprints, friend channel, friend stream, Gmail, Google search, HTC likes, mail. A lot of other uh, goodness here. Go ahead and jump on over to apps, see if we get any other HTC goodness. I see a lot of HTC goodness, HTC goodness. HTC makes good stuff. Uh, navigation, awesome that that's a free uh, addition to Android. That's actually one of my favorite Android features that I mentioned this over and over again, but I think it goes under the radar with most people. On any Android device now, or at least any modern Android device, you're getting a free turn-by-turn -turn navigation with voice directions. There's no subscription you got to pay, no $5.99 a month built to your carrier, uh, and it works really well. The voice is kind of robotic, but who cares? It works, and it's awesome. Um, so if you're like me and you get lost trying to get home, that, really, that sells Android for me. I know it's got a lot of great features, but for someone who gets lost, that is just a, a must-have. Uh, so Polaris Office is going to be included in here. So you can go ahead and open up all your Office applications. That's great. Let's go ahead and see what else we got in the Apps department. HTC Hub. It's weird to see HTC Hub, so you needed a Sense account signed in. I'm used to seeing HTC Hub on Windows Phone 7. Oops, wrong button. We'll go ahead. You can personalize it. I'll actually take a look at that. So you can personalize the different scenes here. Pick what's best for you. So social, HTC, or AT&T current. Let's go ahead and jump to HTC and see what that looks like. Go. Loading. Loading. Whenever I, funny story, whenever I go skiing and I'm on a ski lift or snowboarding or something and you get off the chairlift and it says prepare to unload, am I the only one that ever laughs every time I see that? Um, so it just <laughs> redoes the skin. Um, let's see what else we have. Wallpaper, different scenes, you have skins here as well. Uh, lock screens, so different lock screens. So this is, a, let's go and take a look at the lock screen. This is one other thing I like about HTC Sense, especially on phones. If you want to open an application, you can just drag it right into there, and you'll launch directly um, to the application you wanted. And you can set what you like to have there. So pretty neat. So we'll run through a full review of this guy and all kinds of other jet stream business. So leave a comment down below anything that you want to see in particular. Uh, for a quick size comparison, I'm going to go ahead and zoom the camera out a little bit, uh, with hopefully not making you guys nauseous in the process. Although I'm making no promises. Uh, let's do a size comparison. With 
and I have pet too. So you definitely see a difference here in the orientations. This is uh, the 16 by 9. So you'll see video sort of that was meant to be seen on a widescreen. Thinness uh, standpoint, this is definitely a thinner tablet. Uh, this guy, arguably more spec though, packing more business in here. So this is the Jetstream. Are you guys interested in the Jetstream? Can you get past the price? Does the price not matter to you? Are you waiting for the inevitable price cut? Really curious what you guys have to say. Has any of you guys picked one of these things up? Uh, they are available now from AT&T, either online, in store, Best Buy, Amazon, or you're asking your grandma for Christmas. Uh, whatever, a lot of ways to get it. Uh, you can get it now. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video.